about two and a half years ago, I started making video footage about this fin lock uh, base that we use now already for two and a half years. And they are excellent vests, very small, very compact, very light and also it's been used as a harness, you can clip yourself in, um, but it has the advantage that if the harness would break and you fall overboard or if you're just walking around without being clipped in and you fall overboard, it becomes also a live vest. It has this added functionality of adding this thing, which is a MOB. So I, I made a lot of footage two and a half years ago about this, but I did not show you guys how to program this. So today I'm going to program this and then we can add the clips from two and a half years ago. sitting here um, and I'm going to program these little MOBs. We've got for, for the children, each, each of the two daughters of Eben, we had uh, two small children ones. And the biggest difference between them and the adult ones is first of all they're smaller, but they're the same as the size one, but the inflator is fit for, for children. And this is the ones that we will use now, me and Pietro. So we will have these ones as spare, and these ones will be used um, for me and Pietro. So they spin lock. I will show you how they work together, how they fit together. And I want to now use these little MOBs to program them and fit them into the jacket. They say the MOB must come in where the inflator hose is, so it's, it's going to be on this side, on the inside. On this side is the trigger mechanism, and if you can see, there's a trigger mechanism for the inflator. So I will then install them on this side. So they will be inside, somewhere here. Let me show you how to do that. So a good point to start, of course, is with the manual. <coughs> so let's read the manual. Done. <laughs> We've done the manual. I also want to do the MMSI configuration, so let me study that and see how I can get it onto our system. What, the first thing about this, how you start programming, is you need to arm it. So you're going to move this little red lever down. It will expose a little light, and there's a test button over there, but you also get this thing, a little rubber thing you need to put over this so that the light is exposed. So I'm just going to clean it, make sure it is clean. With a clean cloth. And then you need to insert it like this. So that the light is exposed and you can still press the button over there. Now to program it, you need to hold the button for 15 seconds and in that 15 seconds this one light will flash fast um, red and then slow red and then green. The moment it flashed green, you need to release this button. So I'm going to do that. Okay, it is slow flashing, fast flashing red. There goes to slow flashing red, I think. Ah, oh, slow flashing red. Need to wait another five seconds. There's the green. Release it. And then it flashes now green. And this actually means it's now in program mode. Oh, it stopped. Oh yeah. Okay, so when it stops, is there it's in program mode. Now I have fifty seconds to program this. And what I use to program it is this MOB 
DSC configuration. Over there you need to program your MMSI number and then you can say enable DSA relay and we can also say enable all ships DSA. DSC. This is not always available for all countries. So it depends on which zone you are, then you will be able to do it. So for now, I'm going to do that. And then you need to say update device like that. And then it tells you exactly what you need to do. And then you just press yes. And then now I need to press the, the thing against that one. It did not do it. Um, I need to do it again. Okay, and the idea is you need to press it pretty hard against the screen, otherwise it will not work. Okay, there is a slow flashing, or the fast flashing. Green, leave it. So now I'm going to wait for the, okay, the green is gone, press it firmly against the screen, press F10. Okay, let's see, it flashes green. Keep green. Let's see. Green, green, green. Okay, and it's turning off. Perfect. And this is how you configure it. So now we can go and test it um, to see whether our radio will pick it up and whether the chart plotter will pick it up on AIS. But we're going to do it in test mode. Um, we can of course put it in the thing and jump in the water and it will activate the real MOB. Because I configure it also for all ships, it will call DSC on all ships, there's a MOB overboard. And that might also create a little bit of problems if all the rescue boats is coming out and the whole rescue, maybe even choppers coming out. So we don't want to do that. Um, even if I set our boat only, the DSC for our boat only, the AIS will show up on all the other chart plotters and that will, or in the boats in the vicinity. So all the boats in the vicinity will be showing MOB on a chart plotter and it will then also activate some rescue services. Um, we're now here in Granada, so I'm sure there's a lot of rescue services, so we're not going to activate that. But let's go test it. If it's test, it will show up test only on our radio, the one that I just programmed it for. And if I do the AIS, it will show up on all the AIS chart plotter, but it will say test MOB. So it will, not, it will just show up as a test. Okay, let's do that. There is two types of tests. The first one is functionality to test the battery to see whether that is working or not and how much we used it. We haven't used it, we only tested it once or twice and um, you need to test it every six months. So let us see. So you press, you arm it, so we slide it down so it is armed. Then I'm going to press the T button, that one over there, the T. So let's press it till it goes one red. There we go. So now it's in test mode. It should stroke flash and in green Okay, the battery is still good. Slow green, one flash. We still have a very good battery. So that's the functional test for that. And now we're going to test the, the DSC. So let's see if the radio is on. Okay, so we, we're going to test out the DSC. Our radio is on. So for that, oh. Hopefully I can press with one button. For that I need to press that one till it flashes and then it will start flashing solid and then we release it. Okay, that's it. See? It actually comes up and it will go louder and louder. So
it really gets very loud <laughs> but it will just continue continue until it's so we can see that is this mob number so you can see it's the same number it's over there so we got it we've got the message we can now say reject it or we can ask for info and it says the same thing individual call is a routine so we now can say reject it no reason send acknowledge so this one will get the acknowledgement and we're back so the dsc is working and it did call our radio so now let's go see whether it can go onto the chart plotter okay for this one we need now to see whether it's working on a chart plotter and, for, and now i need to press this button it will flash fast then it will flash steady and then it will flash slow so this is steady the moment it goes slow we release it so now then it flashes it transmits so it's trying to get the gps location because it does have a built-in gps Okay, we've got the GPS location. So it's transmitting now and it looks like it is that one. Let us see. Here we go. IAS target, the same one, and it will later on also actually appear as a MOB. But this is the number, and this is also the same number at the back. So our IAS target is there. If it is, was a real life, then we will have seen that it was going to go to, to MOB, and the target will now disappear. So all the other ships will see it is fine. But this is how this one is working. So. You can see the MOB is still over there, um, so it is, we just need to go there and fetch this guy, the, the Bob, the MOB. I've programmed all of them, so all these little goodies is now programmed. I set the AIS and it was actually quite easy to just follow the instructions. The website Ian doesn't work, the website one doesn't work, so you must have a PC because the other one is you can use a browser, but it didn't want to, to do that. And it was just a matter of taking this little black thing that you get also in the packet. And you place it over like this. Just like that. And then that little light there will be, will be exposed to the screen. And you just follow the instructions and it programs through the website. Actually through the program, not through the website. The website didn't want to, it just keeps on flashing red, which means it's a failed programming. But on the laptop it worked and it flashed green, so our radio is now the MMSI number is programmed into them, so it will actually call us on the radio as well, and it will also do a IIS, man number boards, we tested it, that is also working. So all four of them is now programmed. The next step to do that, <coughs> is to actually make these things to look like this. So I already assembled one, just to see how it works, otherwise I might not be good. So let me show you how I did this one. First of all, you've got this goodie bag that comes with each one of them. And inside this goodie bag is, let me show you what's inside the goodie bag, the little programming, I just has, it's a little piece of rubber, it's, it's just a piece of rubber. Um, you, get, you get a little thing to wind up the antenna if it accidentally and it happened with me. So if you need to wind up the antenna again, uh, you also get a, a, th a protector because if it's armed, it, it's easy to actually activate it. So you just put this little flimsy thing on and it will not be accidentally armed. We will use that one as well. Then there's a little bracket. Um, I'll show you later how this works, but uh, the inflation tube is going through there and the MOB is actually clipped in here. But we will get to that later. And then it has a little ribbon, which I need now to attach. 
here's the ribbon I'll show you the, how the ribbon needs to be attached and here's a little line that you need to put through and attach it to the to the life jacket so that it doesn't accidentally rips off and gets away in the MOBs over there and you <laughs> will not be rescued so this is very important so let us show you now how to connect this thing for this exercise you only need the, the MOB1 and you need this arming thing so the first thing you have to do I'm going to work now from my side is you need to arm it like this so you first slide the red one off now if you slide this one to the side you will see it will first of all it will switch on but also this little antenna here on the side will jump out so be careful I'm going to show you now I will jump let it jump out but it is quite a big antenna so it jumps quite out big so be careful that this thing doesn't hit your eyes and now you can see it's activated so I just need to switch it off so you just switch it off like that and now it's off so otherwise all the boats will come and rescue me so let us just get this thing back the way you get it back you just put a point of the antenna in and then you will see it is over there in the hole and you put this one so you can catch it and you turn it the same anti-clockwise but the same direction as it wants to go so yeah, I don't think you will really get it other way around so now it's wind it up again so I can now release this one and I can put that one in but before we're going to do that let's attach a little line first so I'm going to attach the line and the line this is how it's going to be the line has to be on the right hand side so on the right hand side you just I take both of them they say you, must, you can just do one but I'm going to do both And maybe you need glasses as well. You just feed the ribbon through that little loop. And when that is done, we've got now a very strong line attached to this. The main idea is just so the if, if the jacket inflates, it will then rip this one off. So now we're going to put this one back. Cool. Wind it up. Going to hold it for now, just like that. The moment this goes over, I think it's a little magnet. The moment it goes over, it will start activating again. I think that's the button over there. So let's put it in, and then it will activate. I need to switch it off again. Okay, so I'm going to switch it off, it's off, release that one, Ooh. there we go, now this is why this, this one is important because you can release it but if you touch that one it jumps out, so when that one jumps out <laughs> you have problems again and it activates again, so what we have to do is just clip this thing over and now it is it's ready you cannot accidentally move it or it's it's fine so this is now the one that will now this flimsy thing will just jumps off and it's actually very flimsy it, it, it can easily get off but this one is the one so what the idea now is we need to fasten this one something around the tube so if the tube inflates it will rip this thing off how do we do that so and it's important it was on the right hand side so we're now going to do this one <coughs> like this so this line you feed it through there and on the on the inside <coughs> you take it all around make sure it's not twisted and you put it the, the furthest one again like the furthest one and then that one like that in there where the original or first one came in and now we can actually tighten this 
on a long line and now it cannot get off <coughs> can make me make it a little bit tighter okay so now it cannot get off so this is how this looks like now so now we just need to put it around the, around the inflation and like that around and this will come in like that I'm not going to force it now and then the inflation pipe will be there so this will sit next to the inflation pipe onto the tube which is not inflated now but the moment it inflates it will rip this thing off and the antenna will come out and then you will get your IIS signal the moment it picks up a GPS it has a little built-in GPS as well, so it will pick up the satellite signals, it will start sending out uh, the IIS, so the alarms will go off on your chart plotter with MOB already marked, and also it will send you to the DSC, which I already programmed inside here. So it will also call our radio, and it will make a egg of a noise, and it will just keep on making, until everyone on the boat wakes up and acknowledge the, the, the DSC. So, Next one, next step is to put it on to this, and I'll show you that. Let me just first do these two, and then I'll come back to you. Let me show you how these, these spin locks work. It's actually a pretty cool um, device. We will test one, and we will put that on video as well. But not in the cold Cape Town water, so you have to be patient. It will be a little bit longer. But it has these nice buckles that come through like this. And then it's very tight, it has a nice shackle that you can also tether yourself in. And in general it sits nice and fit, uh, snug on you, so it's not, it's not constricting your movements if you move around. So this is the spin locks. Let me show you how the inside looks like. You will see this zip over here, <coughs> it's covered like that, but this zip is actually already open so if it inflates it will actually very easily rip it open so it is designed to rip open very quickly but it will not accidentally zip open so let me just do it now the proper way we we'll just open up this one and then inside you'll see a few things this is the woody that protects you from the waves, if the waves is heavy, which is very cool. Here's your bladder that inflates. Here's a little light that touches the water. This one will go on. There you go. So it does, you see, so it flashes. So this is a little light if you touch water. <coughs> this is the inflator pipe where we will attach this one to the base as close as possible. Here's your whistle, so you even have a whistle. And then over here is the, is the trigger mechanism. So we, we do have a couple of them already. Um, so I got spare trigger me mechanism, arming kits. And you can see it's still green, so it's good. The inflator, let us see if the house was inflated. You can see it's not been pricked, so it means it is still fine, so it's still full. You can also weigh it to make sure it is not it is still full. But in general, if you buy it from a reputable dealer, it will be good. Okay, so I need now to connect this thing here. So how do we attach this ones? So first you must find the inflator tube. So we need to put it close to the base to this one. You also need to be able to fold it nicely and we want it to be kind of like protected. So first thing is we're going to put it onto the base and it will lay like this. In the end of the day it will be like this. So we will attach it like this to the inflator tube. So this one we just simply attach like that. So now it's attached. It doesn't hamper the tube. And also now the tube was strong enough at the base so that if the spinning blow up it will need to pull this one off. So then we take this one through here. And yes, also protector, a reflector. Let us just say, and then we'll take this one. Like that. Oh, I think we need to do it like this. Okay, 
and it's now attached. So what will happen is this thing will inflate, this thing will rip this whole mechanism over to that side so it will fly off. So this tube and the whistle will still be intact. Now this one is, is ready to go. I just need to fold it up now and <laughs> put everything back. So this is going to be a little bit of a job, but I've done it before. If you watched my previous videos, the inner point check, then you will know we discovered one of these cylinders that had a bad spot, so I rather replaced it and to keep it in the in the spin locks. And it has a few bad spots. So if you look around you can see it has a few bad spots. And we've got a separate or actually spare of these triggers. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to test out the spin locks. And guess who draw the short straw to jump into the sea. I also removed the MOB so we don't get all sorts of rescue services rushing over to Sisu. Um, so just remember that and let's get be a true wet. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, mama! <laughs> <gasps> Oh, that was a pop. <laughs> oh, and the light is out. Everything. It's <laughs> working. Where's my hat? Oh, you have a hat too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you're good. You are so good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, it. <laughs> oh look at the light! Yeah, you've got the light to eat your phone home. <laughs> so Peter is sitting over there, reading up on Granada, I think. And poisonous fish. And poisonous fish. Because <laughs> I it. intend to catch fish here. <laughs> ah, very good. So this was the video on this spin lock. And it definitely served and no affiliation. <laughs> um, you can buy whatever you want. We, we decided on this one. So no affiliation with Spinlock or with the MOBs. Um, but yeah, you guys can um, just follow this, this methods here. Remember to disarm it again and then pack it away nicely like we put it here. And all the little goodies as well. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you think you can mention this video on any other forum, sailing forums or on social media, we will greatly appreciate that. Thank you for watching.